All right, let's talk about today's coding question. That's uh, contiguous array. So uh, we have a binary array, array with number zero and one, uh, and we need to find a maximum length of a contiguous subarray with equal number of zero and one. So this is pretty similar to a question, a few questions I already made videos about. Uh, you know, the subarray is basically a window in between the in, in the in the whole array. And to get the information of the subarray, we can actually uh, do a subtraction. Uh, let's say that uh, we have a window. Um, uh, yeah, so let, let's stick with the question then. Uh, we need to find a subarray with equal number of zero and ones. So what that means is if we run a counter on this uh, subarray from i to j, uh, which gives us uh, some kind of uh, uh, table we have a number of uh, zero and b number of ones uh, we just want to test uh, we want a equal to b so uh, instead of calculating this thing uh, over and over again we can actually just uh, calcul uh, calculate this by a difference so this uh, uh, i to j counter uh, is essentially equal to a counter from 0 to j minus uh, uh, the counter from 0 to i and if we just do one pass through the array and uh, uh, storing all these uh, counters it will be a linear time operation then we can do pairwise uh, comparison between all the pairs of ij's uh, so the whole time complexity to do this a to equal to b checkings and updating the maximum length to be uh, you know, j minus i will be, uh, this will be a, a square time algorithm. Uh, but uh, what's uh, what's not so uh, so efficient here is that, uh, uh, we, let's look at uh, what this uh, difference is really telling us, right? So if we have uh, the first counter to be, uh, to be this uh, frequency, then, uh, the second counter is uh, we have C number of uh, A and D number of uh, 1 uh, the difference is basically um, the difference the difference is basically another frequency count uh, where the number of 0 is A minus C and the number of one is b minus d. Uh, we would, as with this uh, a equal to b, that's what desired. Uh, for here, we want uh, uh, we want a minus c to be equal to b minus d, uh, which is equivalent to c. Uh, say that uh, we want uh, a minus b equal to uh, uh, c minus d, which is the frequency difference between the number of one and zeros. Number of zero and number of one in the window. Uh, in the in, in the window. Uh, so each of those, you know, a minus b or c minus d. Each of these is is a, it's a difference in number of zero and number ones uh, in that particular window. So. Uh, given this, this is the most important thing. So instead of uh, storing the actual counters, we can just store the uh, ci to be um, to be the to be number of zero minus number of one. Then you wouldn't necessarily uh, reduce the time complexity for the algorithm, but it would be just be a lot efficient for us to store information. And then the most uh, important thing to realize is that. Uh, Instead of storing location to difference mapping, we can store uh, the difference to first location mapping, so that uh, we, when we go up, go about and uh, scanning through the array, uh, we can populate this, and then we can check whether we have seen such a difference in between uh, before. If we have seen such a difference, then the location between my current location and the, la and the first time I see such a difference, the subarray defined by that uh, uh, location difference, uh, by that, those two locations, is going to be a subarray that satisfies this condition. So by doing this, a reverse of the information we store, 
uh, we can get to a linear time algorithm. So let's quickly code this up. It's an integer to integer mapping from the difference to location. And uh, it's initially to be 0 to minus 1. So when we have no elements, we have uh, 0. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, so the difference is 0 as well. Minus 1 is just, uh, you know, when we look at the location i, uh, location 0, when we are scanning through this, the difference is uh, j, minus, uh, j minus i. So when we add location 0 with minus 0, uh, minus negative 0, we can get a, a length of 1 from doing that uh, uh, algebra. So we have a diff to be 0 in the beginning, and uh, maximum length to be zero as well. Then it's just a linear pass. Um, we can count the difference between zero and one, or we can count the difference between one and zero. It's, it's the same thing. If we have seen such a diff, then what we can do, oh, sorry, it should be a function call. Then the, we, we should update uh, the maximum lens. Uh, that's potentially possible. Otherwise, we'll just remember this is the first location we see such a difference. Uh, in the end, we just return the maximum length. Uh, so this algorithm, it's a, uh, it's a linear time, as we can see here. Uh, we just do one pass. And the, this hash map will be linear as well. Um, the, the worst case is that we just keep seeing zero. So the diff is just keep incrementing, 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 incrementing every time, and the size is linear in, in that regard. If we ever see ones, it will decrease, uh, so that we will see repetitions, the hash map of size will be go down. So that, the worst case is uh, uh, exactly, the same, uh, exactly the same number as the uh, number of arrays. Uh, that's the worst case. Uh, let's quickly check if we have problems. Mm. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Let's submit and see. Yeah, it's working. So that's the question, uh, recording challenge question today.